If I follow down this dreary old trail and see where it might lead us, the answer to this is the good old graveyard. Let's split up, Gan. Oh, wait, I don't have a Gan. I have no friends, and Mayu is missing. Which means into the graveyard by myself. Now there's no invisible wall because I've got light. I like how the graveyard's like foggier than any other part of town. Look how foggy this is comparatively to like everything else. That's it. This is actually a really creepy looking scene. Welcome to the graveyard. Someone's asking me if I'll do Failure Frame 5. I plan to do it on the day it releases. So putting in all my effort for that. I actually knew this about the wire, so I think I messed around with this before. I can see using the flashlight to look through. <sighs> look at all that stuff all around. You have to wonder what that is. It's just like fog, green fog that's just hovering above the town. Maybe it's like ghost stuff. Ghostly do ghost stuff sometimes. Nothing right over here. Let's go investigate the graveyard then. For a town full of ghosts, I don't think going to the graveyard could do any harm. I mean, maybe all the ghosts are in the village, and thus they've all left the graveyard alone. At least that's what one could hope. Hello, you. At the roots of the giant tree, there is a hole. It appears to lead to some sort of cave. But that's not till much later in the game, so we're not going to mess with that one right now. I remember this area, but anyways. <sighs> okay, graveyard entrance is here. We'll walk all drearily, drearily, drearily. Life is but a graveyard. At least we all die and then we go there or something like that. I'm trying to be fakely deep. There's a statue of a guardian deities here. Oh, wait, I think we've seen that a few times, actually. There's a shiny here, though. We'll go pick up the shiny. Yes. Something shiny is on the ground. Glowing blue crystal. Use radio on the menu to listen. I will listen. Radio. Glowing blue crystal. There is no time. Just one of them must suffice. Hurry. For the village, we must perform the ritual ourselves. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. We also have our memo. It's been updated with a trap boy. Trap boy. As Mia wandered around the village looking for the lost Mayu, she came across a white haired boy locked up in the storehouse cell. From the small cell window, the boy called Mio Yai and urged her inside to get out of the village before the ceremony started. That is what happened! <laughs> I don't think I have any more crystals. It's okay, I need to save up points anyway. Let's go investigate the graveyard. There's another shiny right there. Something shiny in the light. Spirit or acquire. Speak of the fucking devil. I'll wait till I get more points. There are some old gravestones lined up here. The services have been worn away, but you could probably still read some of the names. Probably. Well, I don't see anything else here. No reason to stick around a graveyard unless Chris you got a grave to visit. There you just want to see graves. Which would be kinda weird, but I can understand. I'm that sort of kinda weird person. Graves are like an interesting monument. Know, usually they're where the person's buried, so it's a good place to pay respects for people and learn a little bit more about the dead. Let's go this way. Let's see that. There's the bridge. I was wondering where you went. Graveyard's pretty uneventful right now, but oh, oh, oh. I'm out. Let's fight here. I'll take your photo, gorgeous. Take a fatal frame shot? No, I miss. These are random ghosts, by the way, they weren't scripted to do that. They were kind of floating when we saw them. Ah, I'm missing my fatal 
well shots. Need to focus more on the picture. I don't think he's going to teleport. I'm being doing so terribly, but thankfully I'm using the weakest type of film, so I'm not like wasting shots. Because I'm so determined to get those zero shots. <laughs> Fatal frame and a double shot. Now, not what I meant to do, that was, that was just a waste of a shot. What I want to do now is now that I got myself back in the combat groove, let's just go item, type 14 film. Yes, I want to get a higher score, you get more points if you use higher score. This is a double ghost fatal frame shot opportunity. There we go, yep, I knew this would be worth a lot of points. Be my point fountains, you lovely, lovely ghost. I missed. Just kid oh, I wanted to do more than that. I wanted to work harder each and every day to get the double kill. I missed my chance though. Oh, I still got a decent amount of points. It's whatever. No, 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 no. So put the camera away. Not pause the game. I need to remember this is the pause menu button. Now back to type 7 film. Actually, I wonder if that's enough camera. I mean, you might as well just add spirit orbs to each of the beginning things and start off with that. Yes. There we go. We're a little bit better in each way. Hip, hip, hooray. Now I can take a leisurely jog out of there. We're not going to be farming random ghosts. I, they just attacked me while I was on the bridge. I was defenseless. But no, I, I had a camera. And that's apparently all you need in this village. We'll be A-OK. -okay. Now we need to find the other two sources. Actually, I should go to my files and keep in mind where these village reports report me to go to. I still need to find one and three, I think. For some reason, one of the statues in the fort was in the form of twins. I have also found a description of the twin deity statues in the rhymes lying around the house. So I need to find twin deity statues, and I found a small shrine at the top of the lawn set of stairs. The shrine in mist seems very old, but it's well made and has fallen disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. So okay, I need to find a twin statue, and I know where that shrine is already. Da -da 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 -da. Jogging into town. All right, jogging into town. Jogging into town, the town. You'd think it'd be one of these statues by the hint, because they make it sound like it's a statue, but well, no, I know, right? It's probably not the well, and it's probably not the place we came out of. I don't think it's inside the graveyard. I know where the third one, I think, is, but yeah. I... So on the ground, type 14 film. Don't mind if I do. Let's get exploring. Now that we're done exploring all these little nooks and crannies, we can go a little bit deeper into town. There's a statue of guardian deities here. It looks like a twin is carved in his face. There seems to be many of these statues just like this one throughout the village. You're so observant, Mio. Nothing there. The door is broken and you can see into the dim house. There are other rooms further in, but you can't see them from here. That's unfortunate. Let's go in. It's a nice little village set up. Pulled back camera's interesting. Boom. Camera shot. Now we're supposed to follow where Mayu went, but we're going to neglect her right now, because seriously, who gives a fuck about Mayu? Let's look at these statues. There's a statue carved in his face, many of them throughout the village. You're not the one I'm looking for. You can see a slightly elevated area beyond the trees. This must be the place you looked down on when you first came into the village. That's a pretty good guess, I'd say. There's another safe, you know, area. We're not gonna save quite yet. Door is locked. We'll be here later. Here's another statue stone thing here. There's something on the ground. Type 14 film. The search continues. Over here looks like it might be nice. Oh, those are some nice particle effects. Hello, other statue. 
There's a statue guard and deities covering its face. The many throughout the village. You're not the one I'm looking for. It gets a little hard. Oh, oh. Oh, we got angry villagers. Wait, I need to figure out these guys' timing. I'll figure them out with the uh, type film. I've been collecting a lot of type 14 film recently. Not so much, I think there's a maximum number of, fil of film you can carry, so I might as well just waste it. Oh, I want to line them up. Line them up like bowling pins. Knock them down. Well, that just happened. Item, Type 7 film. Back in the town we go. Is that another one of those statue things? Yes, it is. But it's not the right one I'm looking for. <clears throat> Cutscene. I wonder if we follow the surprising priest up there. Going over here at the very top. I'm following this trail before I follow the shrine trail because I know what's over here. This is that fucking statue thing again. At the roots of the giant tree there is a hole. It appears to lead to some sort of cave. No cave we're entering right now though. Aha ha ha. If you can't guess, it's the other side of that graveyard tree cave. There are wheels here. There's rose statues of guardian deities here. They're carved or they're carvings of children. They've been worn away by wind and rain. You can't even see their expressions anymore. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Here's the shrine the thing was talking about. I'm observing these because seems a little suspicious if you ask me. But okay, I guess up into here we'll follow the strange priest guys. Not to mention it's a staircase led to a shrine. Anyways, this is exactly what they're talking about. Filthy garden ladders are lined up in pairs. Filthy, you are just picky, aren't you? I think they look fine. I think I don't really keep one around my house, so I guess that means they're filthy. There's the shrine at the top of the stairs. There is a shiny here, which I'm going to pick up immediately. There's something on the ground. Sacred water. Just like how my mama used to prepare it. Okay, let's uh, check out the shrine and see all we can see. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. That's not what I... Hi! Item... Type 14 film, yes. Bad area. I can't walk where I think I can walk. It's okay. I can do it like that. Just want to take a picture of them together. It's a double shot. It does stuff. Come over here. Please line up like we used to in our family photos. Folks, you just fucking stop discoing through me. Who's going to attack who now? You. Your turn. Hey, 
you can have your turn. I'm gonna try to fail a frame against you. Got it. All right, item. Switch back to Type 7 films. I haven't quite figured out how to do that through the camera. If it's impossible right now with my control scheme or whatever. There's a blue thing here which I need to take a picture of, isn't there? Now I'm not distracted by go. Oh, here we go. It's right here in the tree. Saw for a second. Right over there. Let's see what this is. Shrine shadow. On the stairs at the front of the entrance is a piece of note lies. Actually, let me press that. There. Villagers report three. It seems to be a continuation of your favors notes that you found earlier. I found a small shrine at the top of a lawn set of stairs, shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but is very well made, and has not fallen in disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly crest painted on it. It's the same as the one on the building beyond the large bridge. The entrance has a large butterfly crest. I, yeah, I know. Butterflies seem to have a special meaning, just like twins. They are frequently mentioned in the ritual literature. Butterfly means something else to the village, too. I noticed that the world always appears in the writings about the ritual. I may not know its exact meaning, but the fact that the butterfly crest is on the shrine indicates that it's a very special indeed. I should investigate further. Alright, Sever, you know your shit, son. Let me go inside. Looks like you can enter the building here. Go inside, of course. Enter, Elio, enter. Countless talismans with eerie writing on them are stuck on the into the lattice. Beyond the lattice, you can see a straw doll lying down. It's about the size of a person. Let's go check through. And right around the bottom bend. Countless talismans with eerie writing on them are stuck onto the lattice. Beyond the lattice, you can see a straw doll laying down to outside of her. I'm just trying to observe to see if there's anything here. Sign on the floor is shining in the light, such as herbal medicine, apparently. Back here. A cloth covers some slab shaped object. Okay, then. I'm gonna sneak my way back around and through. There's a shiny way over there, but I'm gonna take my time to make my way to it. Start just looking around first. That looks like a nice photo. Alrighty. Deeper into the crevices. The door is stuck fast, no matter how hard you try to pull, you can't open it. The door is plastered all over with countless talismans. Alrighty. I'll come to play later. The large current draped over the entire wall has the butterfly crest painted on it. And here we find more secret water. Give me all those healing items I need. We go back over here. There we go. It's the other shiny, but I'm just making my way to it. Something is shiny in the light. Spirit orb acquired. Oh my. Getting a good collection of those, actually. I don't remember if you gave me an entrance site here. I'm assuming no? Oh, that was our visit. Looks like you can get out here. Yep, I'll go on out. Hmm. Camera upgrading, because we have to continuously upgrade. What's the most expensive one? Sensitivity doesn't surprise me. Here you go. Take us a while to work up that much. Alright, so... Sure. Report one. Where could it be? Twin Shrine Maidens. I was actually going to ask if it's uh, somewhere behind and all that. Did I observe the shrine in the middle? Let me go observe the shrine in the middle. I'm going to do that. Well, uh, let me first look at this because I think I forgot to look at something anyways. Ah, uh, over here. We had, I think I forgot to look at this thing surprisingly enough. An old mirror has been enshrined in front of the altar with the crimson butterfly picture. I just wanted to look at that. It did have a unique camera angle at the very least, I suppose. 
Back on down we go. Yes, I'll go outside. Now let's hit the good old dusty trail. It's literally dusty. That's <laughs> what makes it stupidly funny to me. So we're going to be going over to the next story objective pretty soon, but first we have to locate the last of the hidden note file things here. I have asked for my guide, Stephen here, to give me some help to, so that we can get it all figured out, because I missed the first file, I remember the first time I played the game. The hint is statues of twin shrine maidens. That's fair, that's fine, but still, it does make it a little bit confusing. It's the left. If you're going down, that's the left. Okay, apparently over here, I guess it's over by this tree. I actually thought it might be over here because of all these pinwheel statue things around here. Oh, well. Is it where the pinwheel is? I bet it's where the pinwheel is. I see you, pinwheel. No. Okay. He said left, but see, that's left towards the camera. When you're going downstairs, that's your left. So my theory was actually, I thought it was going to be one of these, but I guess you have to, you're in front of the statue, there lies a portion of a note, so it's just a specific, it's just a random one of these. So my idea earlier to check all the graves was actually correct, as you might have noticed I was doing that earlier, because I'm thinking, hi, I wonder if this is it, but I missed it. So anyway. <laughs> Villagers report one. It seems to be a continuation of the surveyor's notes that you found earlier. For some reason, one of the statues is in the form of twins. I've also found a description of a twin deity statue in the Ryan's Lane around the village. In this region, twins serve an unusual purpose. Twin sisters or brothers perform a special ritual here. Each time the ritual is completed, a new twin si or deity statue is placed somewhere in the village. The ritual occurs every few decades, and judging by the number of twin deity statues, this tradition is very old. For some reason, one of the twins already has its head broken off. Sometimes they are sculpted without a head from the start. Maybe it doesn't mean anything, but something here doesn't feel right. I'm beginning to think that I was wrong to leave my or Mayako behind alone. Fortunately, I was unable to find any detailed information about the twin ritual. I have to find a way to get out of here fast. You put it in the file. Now I know what's about to come up. Yep. Statue checker. Yep. Now, a piece of paper fell out, village report 5. It seems to be another note made by the surveyor. How many days has it been in the village? Two? Maybe three? It feels like I've been here for years. In this village of endless night, it's easy to lose all sense of time. Mayo or Mayako is extremely exhausted. Sometimes she manages to give me a weak smile, but it only makes me feel more uncomfortable. Physically and mentally, she's running on empty. I haven't found a way out yet, but... Sifting through the material I gathered in the village again, I found a clue. A gigantic underground tunnel called a passageway connects all the important locations in the village. It is used for travel between the houses during the ceremony, and also to store important items. It's different to estimate the scale of the passages from the map, but there is sure to be a way through there. I didn't find any information about the entrance to a passageway. However, there must be a clue somewhere in the Kurosawa house as they preside over the ceremony. I decide to leave Mayoko here and search the Kurosawa house alone. I'll find a way out of the village, and then come back for her. You put a piece of the surveyor's notes in your file. That's fine. Now, I think that's all there is to the side quest, was there's notes and those pictures you've taken? Unless, Chris, there's another step which I'm not aware of because I never got this far because I never was able to find that note. Now I found it though, and I'm not sure if there's anything more I need to go. Maybe I have to go back to the room that this side quest started and go back there. Or maybe it's signed on through later in. Well, now let's go on to the next main story location, because I think we have ourselves sword for the moment. La -de -de -da, jogging on through, seeing where to, we gotta see. <laughs> Alright, so we obviously have to find and follow the path that Mayu earlier was trying to show to us after I saved my game here. Hello, you nice little lantern. Of course I'm going to click you, and somebody asked in the chat so I'm going to answer it. Uh, we're playing this through emulation. Originally when I played Halo Frame uh, 2, I played it on the Xbox, and I played it from the native, not from the native Xbox One, ha ha ha, but from the Xbox 360 back when it had backwards compatibility. Unfortunately, that no longer works, because I originally had recorded it through the HD PVR. Now I'm just using emulation because I bought the PS2 version for the sake of streaming and playing it again at some point. 
Yes, I would like to save my game. I'm actually going to keep the save file open and save. There we go. Now, however though, the next time I save, I'm going to make a different save file, I've decided that. Let's go to where we're supposed to go. Please don't tell me that counted. My you. Always being the bugger walking off by herself. There are countless large gashes in the door, and there's a rusted sickle stuck into it. You tried forcing the door open, but it wouldn't budge. What a tricky door. Ah oh, well. Let's run on through. There's a variety of doors for us to check out at the very moment. I forget if we're supposed to check them one of them out right now, but I'm gonna check them all out, of course. It looks like you can enter the building here. Go inside. Of course. Why wouldn't we want to enter inside the mysterious old creepy house that's just right here? That's a box. Yeah. There's nothing in there. I recall there being an item in here. Maybe that's later. Let's open this door. It's been a while, long while since I've played this game, so. I remember you well, Projector Room. First, we have a movie. I thought it was a bug on the lens. <laughs> I think I like it from this angle. That was indeed the movie. An ancient projector is low with the film. Let's take the film. There's an old projector here. You could probably play film reels on it. Select a film reel. We only have one, so I'm gonna have to look for others. This is the only. I think there's like two projectors in town. This is one of only two projectors, I believe, that's in here, so yeah, yeah. It's been a long while, though. Things to check. I like how the curtain ever so slightly reacts to your movement. The door seems to be locked. Quaint, pleasant. Let's find more movie reels. There's also nothing on the projector screen without it, so yeah. I'll try and look at this. I guess there's nothing behind there. I recall there being a curtain at some point that was a little bit tricky. Oh well, let's investigate this shanty old house for all of its shantiness. Yes, I do see you, shiny. There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine. When used from the item screen, yeah, I know what herbal medicine does. In the space beneath the staircase, pieces of wall and wood fragments have fallen down. Of course, our first step, I guess, is actually the staircase. So, I'm having all these memories about this area. This area that I'm in right now, I recall you returning to many different times throughout the game. So, I, mean, I think I'm mixing up these memories because it's been a while. Of what happens when. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Better film for this. Type 14 film, yes. Alrighty, if I can keep that up, I'll be okay. Inside attacking mode. All right, easy enough. Her pattern's pretty simple to figure out. She doesn't teleport like some of the other ghosts, so yeah. Just has serve a signal before she goes to attack. And 
next shot should be the killer. I keep, oh, I, well, I'm not used to comboing, okay? I'll have to keep in mind combo still early and I can figure out combos eventually. Worked out okay. Off she goes. It looks I like how it looked like she was falling down the fucking like hoist the platform there. Let me do type 7 film again. Alrighty. Back into the depths of hell. Or really just the lost village, it's not quite hell. Let's go check here. Something, is there anything behind this kimono? Kinda looks like it, but I'm not gonna bug it, I suppose. There's, of course, the obvious blue shiny right here. You found some camera equipment in film. Acquired the stun power-up lens. That's actually a pretty useful one in my memory. The stun power-up lens. Effective, intermittently stops the movement of the spirit. Spirit power required two. Upgrade extends variation. Stops the movement of the spirit being photographed intermediately. To use, press the triangle button, and you've charged two more spirit power points. Default setting. While this effect is active, the spirit will stop off and on, making it easier to grab a shutter chance. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time. Raising the level of this effect extends its duration. Alright. Let's go check this out. A small lamp lights the surface on this table. It looks like a nice little quaint working area, and yep, it's a folklorist note too. The guardian deity statues in this area are different in that they are engraved with shrine maidens. The village children say that the statues honor the gods of the village. Also, a book in the house links the statues to something called the Crimson Sacrifice. Maybe the forbidden rituals relate to this Crimson Sacrifice. And we put it in our file, and there you go. Just like the science screens, the books lying in the bookcase have rotted. The books all appear to be about rituals and customs. Quaint. Well, nothing else of use in here. Back on out. And there is a last area thing that we need to check briefly. Is that a door over there? Am I just insane? That looks like a door. But it's locked. At least I wasn't crazy. I mean, what would I do if I was crazy? Trying not to be crazy is probably my response, but... There's the door. Nothing says of me. Right in here, there is another shiny. Right. I do like this camera angle. The only thing that made this shiny hard to see, so that shiny is on the floor of the connecting corridor. It's, uh, not even gonna try and pronounce that stone name. It's like Crystal Barrel. I wanna call it Crystal Berry, though. Alright, so we have stuff so I need for the radio. Listen to the Crystal Barrel. This also might be as good a time as any to see if the memo updated, which apparently has not. Oh well. Wait, did I pick up a- Alright, I have to keep on thinking about things I can do on the main menu. I did not pick up a stone, do I have enough to level this up? No, I'm about halfway there. I'll work hard until my camera's fully upgraded. At least that one. Yeah, I know it's locked. It's okay. We have to find all the keys, and my memory, my very loose memory of this, tells me that you don't use this till much later in the game. It's a house of a few things that we'll eventually have to get to, but for the moment just has a few key connectors to a few points. Now we should probably finish continuing where Mayu went. Thankfully Mayu is a very patient girl and probably hasn't gone too far ahead of us. I mean, she has a limp. How are we going to fucking escape from a fucking crooked? No, okay, so Mayu is going to be heading... <laughs> I love her little skip when she goes down the stairs. I'm getting so distracted right now while I'm trying to say the sentence. 
Um, I was gonna say that she's probably just right ahead of us, so... Find the shield key first. That's after the armor key when we connected and find the crimson heads inside the foyer. No, uh, the other door I think is locked? I'll check it out though. Memories can be a phasey thing. A hazy, phasey thing. I've got my camera button ready if I need to take any photos or a cutscene. That works too. Mayu! Surprise! There's a ghost here. They have a welcoming committee coming, thankfully. Uh, yeah, that, because I'm almost full of it anyway. Let's see if I angle this correctly. Attack me, sir. I don't fuck it. I, I, I said attack me. I want to get the serious shot. I was going for the fatal frame. I still need these guys attack patterns for me. more than I was expecting. That went much better than anticipated, honestly speaking. Alright, I haven't quite figured out how to switch films while you're looking through your camera. I'll just go right back on there and figure out that this thing is probably not going to help us anytime soon. Yes, I would like to take a photo of you. And you get a little bit closer. There we go. It shows in the picture. Butterflies. It looks like crimson butterflies. Right. I think I remember this. Memory come back. I think you need to find butterflies around the village. Something like that. The gate is stuck fast. There are two ornaments on the left and right doors depicting two people. There's a slot in each of the ornaments for inserting a flat square key. Well, I guess we're gonna fucking find the things that they want us to find open a door. I mean, Maya just opened it like it was nothing, but the ghost locked the door right behind her. So what ghosts do? They just lock this right behind them! Okay, let's do this. The first thing, obviously, is gonna be this door that's gonna end up being locked. But hey, we can take a nice look at it. Hello, door. I'm here to visit and view you from this angle of this... I, I don't actually think you ever enter inside this door, but my memory might be a little bit shaky there, too. Hi, door! The door is locked, but it's locked, which means that could be open. Weeds grow thickly here. You couldn't possibly get to the back of the house. Yeah, who could walk through that? 